Hey guys, Sean here, and this is now Lax Ball 201, slightly more advanced than what we did before. Um, first movement is going to be Lax Ball in your high glute Z. So this is a bit more, a bit more pinpoint. So if we have issues, our coaches can tell you this is what you need to look at. So starting off, feet on the box. Z is going to position the ball just below his pelvis. So you know, so we call it high glute because it's obviously at the top of your glutes. And all he's going to do is just roll side to side. So he does one side at a time. If he finds a bit which is tender, stay on it, breathe. Maybe 15, 20 seconds, and then move again. Two to three minutes each side on this one. So staying in this position, say the second one, we'll look at his QL, which is now above his pelvis. So he can just lift the ball above his pelvis, and he does the same movement. Just roll side to side, find him where he needs to work on. The QL is a muscle which likes to do a lot of work, so it can always get jacked up. So again, find an area, stay on it, breathe. Good. Third one, I'll pull the box out of the way. We'll go into your side of your hip. So Z just puts the ball on, on the side of his hip and he's just gonna roll a bit more onto his side, straight legs. And then just the focus is, you know, to roll around your hip socket. Find where's tender Z. That's it. Stay on it, breathe. So we're not saying that you have to hit all these in one go. You probably pick maybe one, kind of one or two, hit them for two to three minutes, and that's it done. Fourth one, stay there, Z. So we'll just we'll go onto the front of your hip now. So we use a little aid with the kettlebell. So Z's just gonna place the ball above his hip. Where's your hip bone? Hip bone, so just above his hip bone. Okay, the ball goes there. We then put the kettlebell on top, and then we'll start with the, we'll start with the knee bent. So just working around, find where it might just feel a little bit tight, a little bit tender. If you find an area, add a bit more load, and then straighten the leg out. And then you straighten the leg out, all the way out, all the way out. Good. Pull it back in. Reset. Roll again. Do it again. Might want to do that about five to ten times on each side. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'll take the kettlebell off here. Next one, we'll go into his quad. So if you go light on your stomach, place place the ball about six inches above your knee, and then, and then just lie on it. So all his weight's on it, and then all he's going to do is just bend his knee back and forth. So this is a technique that you call floss and tack. So the idea is that you find an area, you're then just trying to work your muscle through the full range of motion, which can help undo all the tissue. Good. So we can do 15, then you can slightly move around to a different area on his quad and, and then go again. Nice, the next one, we'll use the box again. We'll go into the back of your legs. We're just gonna sit on the ball. And for this one, all I'd say is you're going to move side to side. So obviously, it's like his muscles are going that way. So we want to go side to side on it. So just rolling side to side. And what, what is he can also, if he finds an area, is just to bend his knee and then flex it. Flex and extend. So find it. That's it. He straightens his leg. Okay, we'll go into your calves next. So we'll just go for a seated position, Z, um, on the floor. Okay. We'll go side on. So all we need to do is just to stick this in this area here. You can now bend the knee, hold, hold onto your shin bone. And then all he'll do is just pull his leg in, move his foot around in like a circle motion, find where's tender through his calves, whether he needs to move the ball a bit lower, or then it works on the other side. Perfect. Yeah, that'll do.